Welcome everyone to another video and in this video we are going to be featuring a tournament run uh, from the winner of the Pogo Raids Stasis uh, Tournament, I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, this tournament theme is a collaboration between Pogo Raids and Go Stadium and essentially what happens is that different Pokemon in the Master League are assigned point values. The higher the points, the more dominant they are. So for example, Diago is three points. Giratina Origin, I think, is two points. Uh, Curium, uh, for example, not a commonly used Pokemon in Masters, is zero points. You can bring whatever team you want as a team of six, but when it comes to your team of three, the ones that you actually bring to battle, you can only have a maximum of three points. So if you pick Dialga, you have to bring two other zero-point Pokemon because you can only have a maximum of three points on your line of three. So let's go ahead and get started. This is from the perspective of the winner, Kate FC, who joined the tournament last minute. Did a little bit of practice, and this absolutely dominated the competition. Uh, she has uh, Dragonite, Metagross, Swampert, Latios, uh, Excadrill, um, and then uh, Zapdos. Going Excadrill versus uh, Mew. This looks like it is the Mudshot variant. Gonna actually switch out very interesting into, um, into uh, Shiny Latios. Very nice. Um, pretty interesting. And then obviously this uh, 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 Dark Cry has probably Dark Pulse, uh, which um, Latios would be able to slightly outpace the Dark Cry, but decide decide not to shield. Uh, should be able to outpace this uh, uh, this Dark Cry because it takes uh, four snarls to get to each Dark Pulse, and so they should have it right now. Uh, could shield this. I uh, would be able to beat them to the next move. Oh my gosh, okay, all right. We're putting it all on Dragonite right now. Okay, interesting. They're actually gonna CMP tie here to the Dark Pulse. Uh, this Mew does have quite a bit of energy. Uh, Dragonite would definitely win CMP versus Mew. Uh, probably has Dragon Claw, right? Oh, Psy Shock, okay. It's quite a bit of energy, so gonna be throw this Dragon Claw here. I am not 100% certain this KOs. It does KO, very nice. And then there is, oh my gosh, okay. Kind of need to Draco here. This Draco will probably KO uh, Suicune, and Suicune definitely has Ice Beam. Oh man, very nice Draco meter there. Very nice play to Shield Dragonite. Um, and the, the opponent has Ho-Oh, Mew, Magnezone, Suicune, uh, uh, Excadrill, and Darkrai. I guess that makes sense. Dragonite, there's not really any checks for, for Dragonite uh, on this team. So two shield Dragonite made a lot of sense. Uh, obviously, Suicune is one of the checks for it because it does have access to the Ice Beam. Uh, it doesn't really have a Pokemon that will have to definitely have to shield this, right? Like, I don't see... A way where you can't shield the ice beam. Um, gonna look to potentially. Th oh, this is this, no. This can't be an ice beam, right? This is a bubble beam. Okay, that's weird. Okay, gonna throw. That's weird. Why would they only go to the bubble beam? And then still shield the. Gonna go for the Draco now. Very nice. Okay, still able to KO. Gonna safe switch into Swampert. Uh, Swampert, a very safe switch on this team. Once the, once the Suicune gone, uh, Swampert actually beats this entire team, uh, depending on what moves that this Mew has. You know it has Psy Shock, so this is likely a Psy Shock. Yeah. Ooh, man, this play is absolutely brilliant right now. That was a very heads up safe swap. Once the Suicune was gone, Swamper is kind of free reign here. Uh, this is likely going to be Psy Shock. I kind of like this play. Save the shields for the Dragonite. Uh, they will get to the Psy Shock. Well, they would have got it by half a turn. So the they got the Dragon Breath in. So that was a very good play there. Uh-huh. And here comes... Oh my gosh! Oh, don't bring a dark cry into. Oh my gosh. Oh man, that person's dark crying right now. 
Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. Moving on to the second uh, round. This uh, trainer has Guillotine Origin, Ho O, Excadrill, Reggie Ice, Haxorus, and Curium. Um, so there are a few um, Dragonite checks there. Um, looks like gonna put pretty big reliance onto uh, Zapdos. Zapdos has one big check, which is obviously the Excadrill. And uh, looks like Christy Chris is taking a while to uh, lock in his team. Both these players showing off their GBL Legends pose. I'm sure. Um, okay, going to Swamper into Giratina Origin. This is not a good lead. Not the worst, I would say, but pretty bad. They will be able to beat them to, to the move. So this is almost certainly the Shadow Ball. And then gonna go for the Earthquake here, which uh, would do a good amount of damage, but this is not like it is an Ultra League. Uh, it can definitely survive and they switch out. Oh, here comes Regice. Uh, Regice obviously with the Blizzard would be able to one shot um, Zapdos and it is quite tanky. Uh, this is almost certainly the Blizzard yes it is um could go back swamper uh throw the hydro cannon and then basically two shield dragonite okay nope gonna go into oh interesting okay gonna shield here this is almost certainly the blizzard as well can it farm down two three four five six seven oh okay gonna take the move here um well, well, it didn't really matter there, but okay, let's see. Two shield Dragonite. Okay, that is oh man, huh? This is definitely the rock slide. The rock slide would do a pretty good chunk to Dragonite. Oh man, okay, build up a lot of energy here. Okay, go for the Draco here. I think the, the Draco does three times as much as... Uh, oh, man. Able to KO. And yeah, this game's uh, basically over. Shadow Ball. Well, they first off, they wouldn't get to Shadow Ball. Wouldn't KO. Um, and very impressive uh, Dragonite play there. Oh, man. The double bait. Oh, man. I think, like, you just... I don't know. Yeah. Very nice play there. The double bait on the Excadrill. Um, and then Draco Meteor. And banking the energy too was was really nice. And sacking the Swampert. Uh, really fantastic play there. Do, do, do. Okay. Looks like Chris, Chris is taking a while to lock in. Contemplating, thinking, how do you handle, how do you handle this Dragonite? It's pretty tough. Like Excadrill is like probably your best answer to Dragonite. Reggie Ice obviously shields down. Can definitely handle it because um, it takes a while. It takes eleven seconds to get to uh, to the uh, to the 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 yeah eleven seconds to get to the Draco Meteor. The Draco Meteor is just super strong. Uh, I believe it's it is is it base 150? I'm pretty sure it's 150 65 150 um, Which would mean that it does three times the, the dragon call damage can go Zapdos here not a great lead So probably just gonna look to sack the Zapdos does have double dragon strat um, And that was just pretty strong to be honest. I'm not gonna lie um, Probably gonna let this go and then go straight into Latios I'm guessing Go straight into La okay, or not gonna go straight into Latios. Isn't this, isn't this Giratina just gonna farm down? Okay, yeah, gonna go to Latios there. Here comes Reggie Ice. Definitely gonna go for the Psychic. Uh, Psychic does uh, is base ninety damage uh, for only twenty more um, uh, energy. It does forty more damage than plus the chance for the debuff. 
and likely the dragon claw is going to be more than yeah, the dragon claw is definitely more than enough to ko gonna shield here but it is gonna get dragon breath down and now both shields are down hmm excadrill excadrill Gonna gonna draw run here. I don't think this KOs. Definitely does not KO. And then they're gonna sack the Dragonite, uh, sack the Giratina here. But this uh, Latios has too much health to be able to farm down. Oh, this ro needs two Rock Slides to KO. Gonna oh man, what do you do here? You let this. Dragon Claw from Dragonite does more damage than the Dragon Claw from Latios, and you definitely want to farm up a little bit here. Um, but the Dragon Claw is like gonna come pretty close to KOing here. You need to throw two here. Obviously, if they come Zapdos here, you want. Oh, I don't know if that's the right call, but might have got Dragon Breath down otherwise. Ooh, yeah, I think that was the wrong call. I think this Dragon Claw will either put into like one Dragon Breath range. Yeah, I think that was the wrong call. Need to farm, need to take the move um, from from the Zapdos, which would have done, uh, I don't know, actually does probably, actually the Drill Pack probably does more than the, the, the Drill Pack definitely does more than the, yeah, that's a tough situation. Excadrill is so squishy. The drill pack does 29%. Yeah, it's really going to do too much here. Okay. Um, oh my gosh. Is this going to be the drill run or or the rock slide? Oh, this is the drill run. Okay. Going to go into Ho-Oh. I'm not sure this is the best switch in because likely going to have to double shield and incinerate down. I think is going to be the play. Yeah, yeah, definitely double shield. Or they're gonna Brave Bird here. Oh, the EQ, the EQ, okay. So it's 15 energy left. Just gonna go straight for the Draco meter. Not playing around this time. Has baited all all game long. And then, then that bait definitely uh wow, that was that was huge. That was huge there. And then here comes Curium. Um, ooh, okay. Shh, uh, man, I don't know here. Um, you let it go? Yeah, you let it go. Um, I don't know. Okay, can I farm down. The big farm down was nice there. I think this match is pretty much over though. Um, you would have basically there's i don't see a feasible way for this dragonite to win because it would it, i'm not entirely certain yeah yeah this game's over okay very nicely played uh but kate able to move on to the next round with some very impressive gameplay and uh could move on to the third round the opponent has malmetal ho oh uh landorus regiice curium and haxorus so it has quite a bit of dragon knight counters but gonna come with double dragons hoping to bait out um hmm. but there's also a lot of like malmetal counters on this team right uh excadrill and swampert but let's see and then I imagine the immediate switch out. Oh, or not. I guess, okay. Or they switch out themselves, okay. I guess the uh, the favorable, <sighs> here's the tricky part. Like if they have the Malmel in the back, that's gonna be really rough for the back line. But can you predict what's in the back based off of, try to catch the, the thing is like, uh, it's at six and a half. So you kind of have to throw, like you have to switch at the six and then hope that they still click it on the half turn. 
which they likely will. Okay. Oh, able to farm down. Oh my goodness. Going to Malmetal. What? Oh man, is this a superpower? Oh my gosh, that was a sick catch. Oh my gosh. What the heck? Okay. And I'm not necessarily sure that's good or bad. Um, we'll find out. We'll find out. That was sick. That was sick. Definitely could have farmed more before throwing because they weren't even close to the Dragon Claw. Um, I think this game's over. This extra drill has... Oh, okay. Very nice. That's a, that makes sense, too. That makes sense. Dragon Breath down. Yeah. Um, yeah, this, this game's over. Right? Could have Dragon Clawed there. Um, but looks like... Gonna sh I was like, don't throw the Draco Meteor. Okay, very nice play. That was sick. <laughs> that was sick. Okay, all right. Going this... Man, I don't... That's so weird. What a weird team to bring. Okay. I think you essentially just two shield this matchup. Ooh, they got their whole incinerate through, so they're at three right now. Brave Bird? I think you Brave Bird here. Yeah, now they're um, 25 energy. Okay. Uh, gonna go into Curium. A little bit of lag in this match. Ooh, not gonna be able to. Oh, Gay's okay, able to get to the Dragon Claw. Okay. Gonna let it go. And then probably gonna get farmed down by this Excadrill. Ooh, which is pretty bad. That is pretty bad. We've got another incinerate through though. You Brave Bird here. You Earthquake. Yeah, wait, this is gonna be Malmetal in the back, right? Ooh, it is not. It is uh Mm, complicated end game here. I'm gonna Draco try to double Draco. That makes sense because the oh, very nice, very man. That was basically the perfect end game there. Wow. Whew. Oh my gosh, that was. Very impressive. Okay. All right. Again, you see this matchup one more time. Yeah, I like that. Throwing at the seven, only giving them half a turn instead of throwing at the five and giving them. Okay, then switch into Regice. Here comes the Blizzard. They probably have Curium. They're probably running the exact same line. They probably figured like if I run the line but a little bit better, uh, then should be able to pull off the win. Ooh, man. There's no way you can double shield here, right? Oh my gosh, okay. Well, they did double shield. Time down the CMP tie. And then they go into... Okay. Mm, this X-Girl's pretty low though. I... Ooh, yeah. I didn't think it would be able to... Uh beat it to the dragon claw but maybe this is part of the farm down yeah yeah it is 
yeah this is oh man i actually think she had the move she didn't want to throw it yeah oh my gosh this might be the best master league play i've seen today the precision on this play is pretty incredible all right she actually practiced against this this uh person well against stefan i should say uh, before the tournament um and ended up facing him in the finals obviously dragon and i this, this person has kyogre giratina landris latios uh jirachi and kiriam so oh a little bit of lag okay i think they're fine though generally favorable matchup for uh zapdos because it does resist the doom desire uh, which port forces the jirachi to go to the psychic gonna throw the drill pack here they switch it they switch into latios and then gonna go into their own latios you almost have to shield here right like even though dragon claws such a weak move um should be able to dragon breath down and expect the jirachi to come back in kind of a difficult matchup for the jirachi to confusion down because uh, Latios does resist the confusions, but I think, oh my gosh, okay. I was like, I think that's gonna be the game plan here. This Jirachi is very good against the team. Um, obviously come back Zapdos. Oh my gosh, okay. Gonna come into Dragonite, interesting. Uh, interesting what is she protecting in the back kyogre no it's giratina okay i think you just save the shield for um for the jirachi because the jirachi for sure has a move oh you, and you just shadow claw down and then ball ball the dragonite it has a move but i think you just shield here and just ball yeah this should be game i think uh probably overthought that game yeah i think i had a more straightforward win con by going into the drachi obviously had uh quite a bit of energy um because it didn't didn't throw uh and really good job at conserving the energy which is probably why they draw through the doom desire because it was already at 100 probably from like the i guess the three yeah it was probably already at 100 so okay all right excadrill into jirachi obviously fantastic lead and then going into latios uh landris is very squishy so i expect this to be the earth power it is and gonna do quite a bit of damage now they're definitely in rock slide range gonna throw the dragon claw here hoping to draw a shield thinking that is psychic a little bit short on the psychic um but will be able to win the switch uh by just giving up a shield and there's not too much Jirachi can do against uh, Excadrill, right? Obviously, the Dooms are still going to hurt. But I, I do expect the full farm down from the Jirachi. I think that's like pretty much the only play here. And then double Dooms Desire. Um, yeah, double Dooms Desire. Going to probably do like two-thirds of Excadrill's health. And then going to be up... And then if, but if it ends up being Giratina in the back, that's going to be pretty rough. Ooh, okay. Okay. That was nice. That was nice. But this still does like 40% to Giratina, right? So I'm not entirely sure how nice it was, but I guess it doesn't. Yeah. I don't know. I think you, you have to shadow ball here. Um, technically Shadow Ball does more, but, uh, but you're going to look to just to farm down 
yeah, they're gonna have to expand the shield here. Uh, and then you need to land three Doom Desire, which is not gonna be possible, right? Uh, and then the Psyche only does slightly more base damage. Oh, did get one mud shot through, but basically gonna be able to mud shot down, right? So throw the Doom Desire here. Needs to land two more. Yeah, this game's over. Didn't even really need to throw the drill run there. Maybe the best chance to win was to throw. Um, there wasn't really a win con there. That lead was really tough without gain, regaining the switch advantage. Um, Landers probably should have shielded anyways. And then would have been able to slightly outpace, but might have got Dragon Breath down anyway. So we're going to the third and decisive game. Yeah, so this is a rough uh, lead for Landers. This is going to be the Earth Power. And then they're going to go for the Psychic this time. Last time baited with the Dragon Claw. Oh my gosh! Switched into Jirachi. What the heck? I didn't even see that switch. But this is kind of bad news for Jirachi. But Extra Drill is so squishy. Like, it, it probably can't even take this next Doom Desire. Um, gonna let it go. But Landris is also quite squishy. Even though the rock slide is gonna be resisted, I don't expect it to be able to take two rock slides. This will. This definitely won't KO. Definitely won't KO. Okay. All right. Um, expecting the Dragonite in the back. So was just looking to build up a little bit of energy there. Oh man, but two shields though, Dragonite. This is this is game over, right? This is definitely game over. This this Dragonite can basically just Dragon Breath down and then Dragon Claw the the Landers. No, the, yeah, the, the Landers, yeah, and the Land Landers will lose CMP. Oh, actually, it's not even at the move yet. Yeah, extremely well played game. Um, yeah, predicting that no one was going to bring, basically no one was going to bring Dialga into their team because Dialga is three points and it's really hard to build a team around it. It makes it very predictable. And then Dragonite becomes the dominant dragon uh, because of its uh, ability to have Dragon Claw and Dragon Breath. Some absolutely brilliant gameplay. Thank you very much for sending me these battles. And I was going to leave it there. If you like this video, you could like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see everyone in the next video.